Question number 10 is actually a thinking problem on sequences. It says, determine the value of the first positive term of the sequence minus 193, minus 189, minus 185, minus 177 and so on. Also state which term produces it. Well, now explore this sequence. It says you are going from minus 193 to minus 189 to minus 185 to minus 177. Now, how do you go from one term to the other? They are increasing, right? Less negative means increasing. So you add something. How much do you add? So if you add 4, you get this term, right? So each time you add 4 and you get the next term, correct? Now, so to get it positive, you should add at least 193, right? And those will be multiples of 4 which you add. This is, you are adding 1 time 4. So when you add this here, let's first write down the term numbers, right? So be, this is term number T1, correct? This is term number T2, this is term number 3, 4 and like. Now if you go to term number T1, right, how many from T1 to T1, T2, how many times do you add 4? 1 times. So you add 4 1 times, right? So let me say 4 is added 1 times. How many times is 4 added when you go to T3? 4 is added 2 times. And when you go T4, then 4 is added three times. So from here you can see that starting with this number 193 you have to add 4 how many times? n minus 1 time, right? This is 2, you are adding it 1 time, 3, 2 time, 4, 3 time. So in general you can write this as add 4 n minus 1 time to get to Tn, right? To get to Tn, correct? And start at minus 193. Start at 193. Does that make sense? So you start at this and then you keep on adding 4s. You add 1 4 to get to the second term. You add 2 4s to get to the third term. 3 4s to get to the fourth term. That means number of 4s you are adding is 1 less than the term number. So we get n minus 1 fours. Do you understand the formula now? And starting at minus 193. Correct. So that is how you get your general formula. Now the question here is, determine the value of first positive term. So when will you get your first positive term? If you add 193, you get 0, right? So this should be at least 194, correct? At least 194 to make it positive. So we have to solve for that inequality, right? Let's do this. So it's like coming from backwards calculation, right? So we say 4 times n minus 1 should be at least greater than or equal to 194, right? If I do that, then if I add 194 to 193, it becomes positive, right? Okay. Let's divide by 4. So we say n minus 1 should be greater than or equal to 194 divided by 4. Is that okay? That means n minus 1 should be greater than or equal to 4 goes 4 times as 16, right? 4 times 4 is 16, 34. 4 times 8 is 32 and 20, 48.5. So 48.5 means we'll route to the next number, 49, right? That means n minus 1 is greater than or equal to 49 or n is greater than or equal to 49 plus 1, which is 50. So, that is what it is. Now, we should check it. We got also state which term produces it, n equals to 50, but let's check it. When I write t50, I get minus 193 plus 4 times 50 minus 1. Let's use calculator and then figure it out okay so we say minus 
193 plus 4 times 50 minus 1 which is 49 and which gives us plus 3. So this is equals to plus 3. So we do get a positive number and the positive number value is plus 3 and that is 50th term. So, so the answer here is first positive term is first positive term is plus 3 and the term number is and term number is equals to 50 okay well I'm writing first positive all short forms you should write complete okay thank you I hope you understand this it's a very good problem go through the video again thank you